All right, so uh, Omega here with Fanatically Correct. I got MSK and Yo Peace on here with me. They've already seen it, but I have not yet seen the new Matrix trailer, so I'm going to watch it not. now. And uh, this is the video of, I guess, my reaction, and I guess their reactions to my reaction, and I guess we'll discuss it <laughs> after I see it for the first time. You're going to do uh, <laughs> and, uh, a reaction video uh, to Omega's reaction later on. Yeah, so. a reaction Good to luck. the reaction to the reaction of um, – oh, I should watch oh, a reaction oh. video. Is what of I the reaction <laughs> when the, the reaction. reaction so uh, all right i'm gonna press play i got no commercials right now so uh right. uh on on one uh, i'm gonna press play uh three two one thomas you seem particularly triggered right now can you tell me what happened doogie hauser dreams that weren't just dreams whoa that was a lot Am I crazy? We don't use that word in here. This is so John Wick. Hi. Trinity. Have we met? One Blue pills. Follow the white rabbit. Time to fly. Young Morpheus. If you want the truth, Neo, you're going to have to follow me. So she's like the new Trinity. The only thing that matters to you is still here. I know it's why you're still fighting and why you will never give up. You don't know me. No? Uh. years to be going back to where it all started back to the matrix hmm. all right all right is there anything anything else there? yeah okay were you yeah, matthew yeah, McConaughey? Yeah. what it's what, what was <laughs> all right yeah. all right well, all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, okay, so a couple yeah. of things, a couple of things I wasn't thrilled about, but overall, it looks like it has the original film's feeling again. It feels a lot more like The Matrix than either of the sequels. It looks, yeah, it looks like a like a sequel to the first movie. Yeah, yeah, like. almost, yeah. Um, almost like two and three almost, didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna do that. Well, it's it's just it's just a lot of repetitive um scenes almost like kind of like the same i don't know that's why well, yeah, I, I, this I, I, is I'm why i was that. explaining that it's just a lot of the first movie you know when those you know when those comedies re retell the same jokes in three other movies in an updated way in yeah. an up in an updated version each time yeah yeah it's through, what through it joke feels variants like. <laughs> in your joke <Yeah>. variants <laughs> yeah it's what it feels like it's 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 that so I don't know, so, man. I like I like the trailer though. It, it, yeah, it was I'm, different from I'm the interested. regular. Like, yeah. I'm I, you know what got I'm me hyped? Interested. You know what got me hyped? I'm not even gonna lie to you. Is uh, uh, Jefferson Airplane uh, theme yeah. song like the yeah. song? Yeah. Like, oh, okay. and it wasn't oh, like okay. cut. 
the same way as all trailers are cut now. It, it was like right. more of a standard. Yeah, um, yeah. But they use so, they use the sound effects yeah, and stuff. But out the gate, out the gate, you have the the deja vu cat is uh is well a an all black cat which we re- remember from the first movie oh as a deja vu cat is in uh Barney from High Met Your Mother's office, Neil Patrick Harris's Neil office. Patrick so he's like yeah. the therapist. Yeah. So there is that scene where Morpheus also is just like an agent. So then he's yeah. walking down the whole. Matrix so is that scene. Morpheus? Do you think? Um, he's definitely doing a Morpheus impersonation. I mean, he's wearing the same type of sunglasses. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's like a young Morpheus. I just don't know if uh, I, you know, I read some of the theories and something that makes sense where it could be like the system made a clone of Morpheus, and it could very be possible that the system data cloned all of them, and none of them are actual. Um, no, none of these characters, none of the characters we know from the first set of films, Neo, Trinity, Morpheus, might actually exist in the real world. Mm. Um, and maybe that's what they're not giving away. Maybe we're not seeing uh, any uh, of the outside world because they did show scenes from the outside world. That's where I kind of went, eh, I, I'm sure you'll catch it in the video. I made a bit of a face because uh, no one was too thrilled about um you know, part three, especially when they started showing too much of the outside world. I mean, they got to show the real world. And, uh, yeah, yeah, they, they do exactly with the real world. Uh, they, you know, uh, if it's the real, if it's the real think, world. Um, yeah. But yeah, so I, you know, I'm not thrilled about that, but only because of the or of what happened with it in part three. If I pretend uh, two and three didn't happen, the real world stuff in the first Matrix film was just fine. Like, <laughs> it, it set up all the explanation. Yeah, because so, they didn't show a lot. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. They didn't show like we are really not seeing in the trailer. Uh, any scenes of people in the real world, in other words, on you know, on the Nebuchadnezzar, the, the ship, or any of the ships, or yeah, anything like that. So, as I, well, I don't know if Zion exists anymore in, in this thing, but um, the whole point is that we don't know. I, I there's rumors that Jada Pinkett, she's not in the trailer, that Jada Jada Pinkett Smith's in this movie. Uh, so, we're not sure. Maybe there is an older Morpheus. He does exist outside the world, but he's no longer part of the Matrix, and that younger version of him is not um his you know link up it's whatever the the matrix will built up so it looks like there's a lot of that going on there's a very good possibility everyone we've just seen in this trailer does not also exist in the real world at all uh and then we're not getting is who is going to be uh outside the matrix in the real world in those scenes that we saw so but yeah neo i think for sure neo is dead in the real world yeah yeah i don't think they're gonna undo that soul is in yeah. the matrix that's that's yeah. probably what they're gonna exactly do. i don't think they're gonna undo that i feel that that's exactly what's gonna happen that he... or john wick either or whatever john wick or, or john in, in wick yeah. or this is a john, john wick, wick. wick yeah yes yes this could so. be the john wick uh prequel to everything yeah. else yeah I gotta, I gotta rewatch it dog. because there's i i mean i could have sworn trinity would have been like uh a program too because she's dead also yeah in the third movie she died well, you know yeah. what? I thought she that's what it looks like it seems she is a program because she yeah. is. She, there, there are yeah. numbers running, running on the side of her face in yeah. one of the scenes. Yeah, there. yeah, I, I'm really feeling that. Other words, like they broke the, or the same way Agent Smith developed all these new abilities and things like that right. uh because he's decided to not go uh, and end his program. Uh, it kind of feels like the same thing. Like when they were uh, last hooked up, what was left of them didn't go into you know deletion basically and said nope right. not doing that and when that happens they start rewriting their own code uh just like other like in part two and three where they did dive into that there were other programs uh, on you know outside of just the agents that had the ability to rewrite uh their their programming now to connect it to because that is what the matrix does the symbolism of maybe we live in a matrix that's what they talked about werewolves you know the guys of the silver bullets in part two and stuff like that that you know if we actually exist in a matrix that would explain those things that we can't explain ghosts that was the twins the phantom twins and things like that that that's why there's things outside of what we would normally scope as reality because those are programs that are defective or rewriting their own code because they're self-aware that they're in a matrix or whatnot. So it's very possible, uh, just like Agent Smith chose to go against, um, you know, what the architect the current, and right. you know, yeah, the, the, the base program was telling him to do, same thing. These are leftover data, leftover data that's supposed to delete itself, and it went, nope, not going to do that. Yeah. Um, well, and that's what happens. She that's is what a program, but it, it shows a clip of her jacking in. So I don't know if that's like a clip of oh, okay. the old movie I'm or if it's a, of Yeah, of there's the a scene movie. where he's looking at himself older, but then he looks like, he looks like that character that was in hmm, part three. Um, there was the Oracle. Uh, and then remember the guy who was trying to save his daughter at the train station. Right. He looks like that guy in the mirror. 
when he's looking at the older ver it looks like it's just, it looks like it's gonna be an older version of him, but it actually looks like the guy with the little uh, girl. I want to say of Indian descent um, in the train station that he's trying to save his daughter at the train station, and then uh, an Neo, older version of that guy. Yeah, no, it looks like that guy. Like it's a like they're trying to look in the mirror, like like uh, Neo's looking at a, at a older version of himself. But when you see the facial features, it looks a lot like the guy from the train station mm-hmm. with the daughter in part with I think wife and daughter. Yeah, that could be interesting. So what, blue what pill, red I don't pill. want what I don't want is I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't want the real world. Yeah. Now where they could be going, and this might be interesting. So just throwing it out there as a possible theory. You see replacement Trinity. It's the same deal where she has the white rabbit, the, the rabbit tattoo and follow me. So they're re, kind of redoing the first one. It could kind of be a thing because since he didn't go away like he was supposed to, what did the Oracle say? This was the fourth time or seventh time or whatever that yeah. they yeah. go through this cycle they of try. have yeah. a one. Yeah. In other words, yeah. to appease the people who don't accept the program, they basically give them this whole fake Story. rebel yeah, storyline yeah. for them to follow, and then they destroy Zion, and then again let them reboot and have a few years of hope before they ground them all up again. And maybe what it is is that they're doing a second, you know, uh, like not a second coming, but then the now the new version, what's supposed to be the next Neo, the next everything. Right. And what's happening is they got the wrong Neo because the information from the the previous Neo is still there. And maybe mm. we're going to have a thing where they got because the, he's doing the same thing. He's following the white rabbit. Um, that's the, yeah, the their very, version. Of, very yeah, their the version movie. of Trinity. Exactly. So it feels like, uh oh, they didn't they're not getting the new one because the old one's uh, essence is still there, you know, getting into the whoever, information. Whoever wrote that program is going to get fired for sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here's a scene where he's touching Trinity's hand. Worst outside. programmer ever. He messed up. <laughs> he <Yeah>. messed up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, because Morpheus trying to redo the whole training sequence again. Yeah, which yeah. which is what he did in part one, and the difference and then, is that and then he's already Neo already him up. knows. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he already knows the the program. Yeah. Like at that point, it's like you can't teach me anything that I I don't know. Yeah, if I point, have to, so. if I have to guess, I'm definitely leaning towards the idea that yeah, he's uh he interjected himself into the next Neo's spot. Which then can mess the whole thing up. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not gonna predict anything. I'm just gonna yeah. wait till the movie comes oh, out. Oh, okay. Well, oh, wait a minute. Okay. Uh-oh. Now we're not. Oh, we we're might not just be talking. No, I'm predictions. seeing the scene. No, I'm, I just resaw the scene that MSK was talking about. I didn't realize yeah. that was Jackson. Trinity. Yeah. Well, Trinity. no, someone's yeah. being jacked in, but they're all gooed up again, and it looks a lot younger. Maybe not just a data clone. Maybe it's a physical clone. In other words, they uh, obviously the machines have the technology to do all this stuff because remember they're turning the the um the dead they reuse them as uh, nutrients and stuff like as that batteries. for yeah. as batteries for, no no but, but remember they they explained that that the dead then gets recycled to then be yeah. fed to the to the to the newborns or whatever like when they went in the for, part one when they explained like the whole yeah, process it's like, it's like the yeah it's like the yeah so the, it's very the possible the just take nutrients, the DNA the nutrients exactly so it's very possible just take the DNA and just clone their bodies as well so it's actually possible their physical they're bodies clones. are clones yeah but they're but in other words they do exist in the outside world as well they're just clones of their original versions and maybe their original versions aren't the uh aren't the original either maybe those are clones too is something we find out it's something they can go with but yeah it, it, we're, we're seeing that and that's what could it be there could be a Oh, yeah. No, I'm not going to predict. I'm just guessing. Like, yeah, I'm not predicting. <laughs> so yeah. they could also do a misdirect of just showing um, a scene of the old movie as well. Kind of like a flashback type situation. Yeah, that could be awesome. So, but it was Trinity, not Neo. I don't remember them showing Trinity coming out of the... Yeah, but she might be oh. the one, She might be the one having the flashback in the movie. You get what I'm saying? Oh, I got what so, you're saying. Yeah. Or they're really going to mess us up. And, you know, because basically... It took so freaking long for Trinity to die in part three. This is everything that was going through her head while she was dying. And then we can really yeah, wake her pissed. Right before she dies. Yeah, I'm sharing that. I did. I think I've shared it on the podcast before. I literally said out loud, would you die already in that theater? And uh, I did not get – nobody was mad that I well, said she that. Dies, <laughs> she kind of dies in part two. They revive her and then – Yo, well, she, she inside the three. Matrix dies. And then yeah, before so she died like, in the yeah. real world, well, he revives her. Not, it's not as bad as uh, – uh, Glenn dying in The Walking Dead. Oh, don't even. Why? Why? Let's not talk why? about The Walking Dead. So, 
so just they just did the same. Up. Just so you know, they did the same thing with Maggie. They just for their final season, uh, they why? figured they'd why? revisit the why thing that I made everyone this? leave the show, which was Glenn <laughs> hiding under the dumpster. They just did, did it with Maggie in the final season in episode two. Uh, what a slap in the face! The same thing she hey, the Matrix, Matrix, get back, <sighs> Matrix. Yeah, so Matrix. I enjoyed the trailer. I think I'm looking forward um, to this. I'm looking forward it, to this. It, it, it's intriguing. It's intriguing to me. Yeah. So I'm a little hyped for it. I hope Ooh, everything, everything looks cleaner. I gotta, I, I gotta say that it feels like part one, but cleaner, obviously, because oh, we yeah, have advancement I mean, in technology yeah, and the... you know, 4K. There was a lot, there was a lot more grittiness to the first one. Um, yep. like when you watch it on reruns on AMC and stuff like that, or just watching on what Netflix or whoever has it. Um, there's a more of a grittiness to it. This looks a lot cleaner. Like just like, like the brilliance behind everything, and it looks good. So we'll see what they're gonna uh, do. He looks I'm, so like. I'm gonna be honest. I'm my bar is really low. Like yeah. it, it, smart it's as low. I'm going. Smart. I'm going low with all these all these retakes yeah. and rehash of movies because I don't want to be disappointed. I already well, got my. I got my first disappointment already with Candyman. So far, uh, no. so I know. Well, so I, 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 I can tell you this. I'm I'm a I'm a I'm a hundred percent for sure looking forward to seeing this. Uh, you could definitely tell he was filming John Wick at the same time because like oh, yeah, they are yeah. not changing the look change at, at all. all. But hair up I'm gonna something? I'm gonna throw know. out one prediction, and I hope I'm wrong, but I have a feeling I'm gonna be right. So I'm gonna be the I don't know I, I'm the first one that I know to say it. I don't know if I look it on but the internet or people have said it already. I'm but fine. I'm gonna say this: I got a feeling, older Neo, is gonna fight younger Neo, in the scene. I have a feeling they're gonna throw at him a younger version of himself, program version, because if that's what doing with Morpheus, there's gonna be that scene, the Scott Pilgrim versus the world. He's gonna fight himself, and it's gonna so it's be the Neo younger versus version John of Wick. Himself. That's what's gonna happen. Yeah, and then it will be Neo versus John Wick, like Yo Peace wants. That's yeah. gonna be as close yeah. to you as you're gonna get, because you'll get young Neo versus John Wick, and I'll be I, Yo Peace might be the only person happy about that scene if yeah, they do I, it. I'll be happy to with me, that. that's gonna feel I'll like such a trop. But I it well, depends on how they do it. But it's like I don't know. I just got that that gut feeling. Uh, we're gonna get that, and and, and they're not gonna show that in the trailers at all. Not until like it's been out in the theaters in a month or HBO Max for a month. They're like, okay, screw it. All the spoilers are out now, so do it. Yeah. But yeah, I, I that's just something we're gonna get the first time we watch the movie. You mean so? You mean like the spoilers that Marvel is doing right now with uh, Shang Chi? Shang Chi. Yes. Everything? Did you see yeah. that? Did you no, see that? Are they oh, oh, they yeah, already showed the abomination. Go, I don't yeah, that's it. Twitter. MSK, stay do away from me. Do not go to Twitter. Yeah. Do not go yeah, to no, Twitter and Marvel. watch okay. Marvel. I'm telling you right now. Yeah, already MSK, massive. stay away from everything. Stay away from everything. Yeah, yeah. No, they're already... I mean, th- 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 yeah. It's it's a good Marvel week. Though. Well, I'm going to... I mean, I'm, uh, Yopi's can second it. Uh, I love Shang-Chi. Uh, it was a great time. Great Marvel film. The first 20 minutes that I saw before I had to go in the, the movie theater, I had to fix yeah. something, so... I had to bolt out of there, but the first 20 minutes It's a minutes great 20 great. minutes. It's a great first 20, 20 minutes. minutes now, that awesome. movie comes out the gate. That movie yeah. comes out the gate. Especially, I mean, the whole backstory of the of the Ten Rings is the opening to the film, which is great. Uh, and then, of course, we get uh, – you. well, I guess you got just enough of um, of Shang-Chi and his uh, current day-to-day life. I guess you got – did you get into the bus scene or any of that? Or? Uh, nope, not at all. No, I got, I got to the part where they were yeah. left. The, the grandmother's house or the mom's house. Okay. Oh, okay. So, yeah. wow. You were like right before the bus. Yeah, I'm in the, right, in the beginning. Yeah. Very yeah, right before, yeah. right before the action starts to get intense. Okay. So, yeah. when, once you get back there, you're going to, you're going to love from that, yeah. that point. But great on. opener, man. The opener it was is, fantastic. It's excellent. I, I love that yeah. whole storyline. So, that was good. Uh, I got to say, uh, Yopis hasn't seen it yet, but uh, the zombies, uh, yeah, what if this week? Oh, we'll talk One about it. One of my favorite zombies. Thank Friday anything. tomorrow. It's One so of my favorite good. ones, anything. It was good. It is so good. It felt and what's like great a great about it. Show. Yeah, it did. I'd love to see that live action, but what I love what they did about it is that you got um, a lot of um, nods to other zombie films uh, that are big in the genre. Uh, a lot of nods to its own, you know, the own MCU uh, canon storyline because a lot of little things that they kind of redo in a different way because of the timeline of how things line up between when the whole zombie thing happens uh and right. the mcu yeah. uh and then there's and then there's a lot of nods to the comic book so uh i wasn't i didn't remember as much awesome. of the comic books but i did watch like a youtube refresher uh on, on the comic on the comic book series and there's a plenty of nods uh that they take to the comic books obviously things happen differently because they're doing it they're the what if is spinning off the of MCU, the, yeah. the mcu as opposed to the comic book uh 
uh, Marvel Universe. So, but yeah, it's a great episode. And, and if honestly, if you haven't seen any of What If yet, because you don't have to watch it in order at all, I'd probably start with the zombies one. I, it really hype you up. No, for other stuff. no, don't do that. Don't yes, do that. I would. You don't have to watch them in order. You don't have. You to don't watch have to watch them in order. order. No, yeah, you, uh, MSK still doesn't watch the Doctor Strange one. I haven't seen the Doctor Strange yeah. one yet. Yeah, and it, doesn't, it won't affect. Then you're gonna get disappointed. Watch it in order because you might get disappointed. <laughs> and I don't think you'll get disappointed. It does get better <laughs> going. Okay. By episode and, by episode, it gets better. Well, yeah. you know what? It gets better for you, but there are people that uh, that I know personally that uh, have already said that uh, the Doctor Strange one wasn't that good for them. I really like. So, I mean. I really like yeah, Doctor so, Strange I mean, as a movie. So I, 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 I mean, I, I really liked it, and I don't want to spoil it, but we'll talk about it after you guys see it because there's there's some rumors about something from that uh, in, in regards to the Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. So that's uh, which, if that's the case, I know for sure MSK is going to be very happy if that rumor mm. comes true <laughs> of a specific All rumor. Right. So I'll, I'll bring it up after you guys see it. I got to go uh, watch it. No, I got to well, watch it right now. You should, luckily, I think it's only like 40 minutes, that episode. So yeah. it's, it's fantastic. And then uh, Rick and Morty ended great, great season of Rick and Morty. Mind-blowing season finale. Mind-blowing. I see. Typical, it's, yeah. it's a cartoon, so yeah, you but know. It, it, it did a t- it, but it did a typical Rick and Morty where, which a lot of shows are doing lately, the Ted Lassos, the Daves, um, which is and it's Rick and Morty. I mean, you can't get raunchy or crazy, and this is this has one been one of the seasons that you definitely cannot have a kid in the room. I mean, some some real past cross the line stuff uh, uh, going uh-huh. on in the series, but then it hits you right in the feels just in time to wrap up the season. So it's. Nice. Uh, it's pretty impressive. They 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 have great callbacks to certain things. Uh, so you got Rick and Morty, and then uh, Titans has a new episode. I think Doom Patrol starts soon. Right, I so think we're next done. week. Yeah, or the so week we're after. Done. We brought up Titans, so we're we're done. We're done. Should watch it. Yeah, should watch it. It's done. good stuff. But yeah, we got Doom yeah. Patrol coming up, so there's gonna be a lot of stuff that we'll touch on. Yep. Uh, and then last thing I'll throw out there is if you're in the Margate area of South Florida, uh, next Saturday, which is at Flynn's Arcade and More, they'll be having a cosplay event. With a lot of good stuff, and I'll talk more about that uh, on the Instagram, and we'll post stuff and tweet stuff and stuff like that. Instagram, so thank you yep. for joining us on this live reaction. This was pretty fun. Um, please uh, check us out, our link tree, at FanCorrect, and that'll take you to all our good stuff, like fanaticallycorrect.com, well, where you can link on to all of our uh, past Every, episodes and upcoming just episodes. Go to that link tree. No so just go to our link tree, and you'll, you'll be able to connect Spotify, whatever you got, and then review us, like us, all that good stuff. Uh, so uh, that was good I guess we'll wrap this up uh, Fanatic Correct is Omega saying peace MSK peace up yo peace eat us